Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. High school basketball stars, both so talented, they're already signed to play college ball, but right now they're recovering after being shot. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio is live at De La Salle High School, where one of the victims is a top student and player. Suzanne. Erica, the two teens, a boy and a girl, the girl attending school right here at De La Salle Institute, both of them on a street corner in Englewood, both shot last night. Now, I just spoke a short time ago with one of the girls' coaches, and he told me that she is recovering. Fortunately, she is doing much better. She's hoping to be released from the hospital today. She still has a bullet. She was shot in the ear. The bullet lodged in her neck. It may remain in her neck permanently. Takaya Howard plays multiple positions on the De La Salle Institute girls basketball team. The basketball team standout was shot in her ear with a bullet lodging in her neck, just missing a major artery. Howard was with DePaul prep basketball star and Loyola University recruit Ty Johnson when both were wounded in a drive-by shooting in Englewood Monday night. Johnson was grazed in the head. He is recovering. In this Twitter post, Howard proudly announced she'd be attending Murray State University and playing Division I basketball on a full scholarship. She gave thanks to God, her mother, and Barry Bradford, her coach and the founder of Example Sports Club Basketball. I was fortunately able to be a part of that journey with her when she got the scholarship offer. Um, Murray State is a program that um, recruits our kids. We have a, a, a club basketball program, Example Sports, and so... Um, TK, we affectionately call her, um, is, I mean, she is just a lightning rod. She lights up the room wherever she's at. She's got a sweet personality. Everybody wants to be around TK. Um, she's a jokester. Um, and so one of the things for her, that was her dream. Her dream was to get a Division One scholarship. Well, I spoke to Takaya's mother just a short time ago by phone, and she told me that her daughter will be leaving for Murray State on May 23rd. She says that Takaya said this is not going to let my dream not become a reality. It's going to happen. She is determined to get through this. Meantime, Loyola told us in a statement that their primary concern is that Ty Johnson has a full and quick recovery. In Bronzeville, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS2 News.